Hi, welcome back to you, Pokey. Hope you've been doing good. This uh, video I've been waiting for, for the right opportunity. Here it is. And uh, a trainer box for the uh, Brilliant Stars collection of uh, Sword and Shield. I've already opened a booster box for Brilliant Stars. Not in video, that was before I started doing videos. Um, I'm really after the V art of Charizard engaging battle with uh, Venusaur. I did not pull it. Um, that's what I want to pull rather than buying it. And I'm hoping that I can go on this journey and share it with you of trying to actually pull the card. So here's a trainer box that I got recently. From my understanding, at stores, you can, if you find it, you're gonna be paying close to 50 bucks. If you get lucky, you might find it around 45. Um, if you look into your local groups, to me, you'll, you'll be able to find it around those similar prices. So uh, let's get into it. Here's the artwork of the box. Very nice and clean, and in my opinion, the, the white color always keeps, you know, that, that sense of elegance in a way. So here it is. In this pack, you will find, as you can see here, and the uh, instructions on the back of what the box contains, you get 10 booster packs, 65 sleeves, uh, then you get some energy cards, a guide, the rule book, and then the everything that comes as usual, the uh, damage counter dice, the coin, uh, and the condition markers. So let's get into it. Very excited to open this one. And hopefully we get the Charizard. So here's the player guide, player's guide. And you can see that inside the box, there is some artwork. Let me know what you do with these. Let me know if there's a way to open these without it uh, getting damaged and the way that you can display it it's pretty cool Let's see if we can get some focus Oops, sorry about that there you go that's some nice focus right there all right let's put this to the side and let's take a quick look at the uh player gu player's guide so i've taken a look at this before but i want to take a look before we actually open some of the uh, packs to see what are the some of the cards that we should be looking for. Here's that uh, Reiku, very nice card. And let's see, towards the back is usually where you find the more rare cards. I think it starts right here. Yep, there it is. Charizard V. That's the one that I'm after. But there's a lot of cool arts as I was taking a look at this. You, of course, have that rainbow Charizard down there, along with a few others. You have, for me, what are kind of the three main energies of the EVs. So far, I believe I have these two, and I think I'm missing this one. The Umbreons will be some nice pulls as well. And that's it. So you can slow that down if you want to take a look at some more of the cards in there. Um, let's uh, let's get into this. Let's take a look at the uh, the packs and what else comes in here. You always have this divider right here that keeps everything nicely organized. There it is. All right. So we get the little deck box. Let me 
sure you're not good at paying attention to direction. So my apologies if I rip some of this open. I always for sure make sure to be careful with the actual Pokemon packs. I think this is the first time I've seen something like this. Let me know if all the trainer boxes are a little bit unique in their own. So there you go. Has some type of component there that keeps this closed for you. You can carry some cards. Very nice. Keep that in mind. The main component, the packs. This artwork right here of Charizard. That's really nice. Very nice artwork, I believe. Get the uh, standard energy cards. The sleeves. Here's the artwork of the sleeves. Gold theme. Pretty cool. Not completely my favorite, but I do like that they stand out a bit. You have some instructions here to tell you a little bit about the game, describe the Pokemon cards, and then you have a standard, I think this is the first code card for today, there you go. Get some nice white dividers. I think it would have been cooler if the sleeves had, you know, maybe this artwork. Let me know which one you think is cooler. Let me know if you think that this leaves would have looked better if they had this instead. And then you have the dice, the V star that always comes. All right, so let's get started. Let's get into these packs. I believe in total we have nine. One, two, three, six, nine, ten. Ten packs. Cool, ten packs. We're gonna put the Charizards to the end. All right, so there's the two Charizards. And let's get started with all the other ones. Let me know in the comments. I'll be able to see, I think, in the uh, or put the uh, timestamp if you can, of when you made the comment of what you think we're going to pull, if we're going to get any great pulls for this set. And I believe that this follows the old uh, patterns, so... How about we do a okay, white code card? Let's see, you know, how many black code cards we get. And then we can open the white code cards and then the uh, black code cards. I think black. Yep, black for this one. Let me know if there's some music that you would like for me to play in the background while doing this videos. I think black. Oh, white code card. I think we're going to end up getting a total of, I say, four black code cards packs. Let's see what we get. Seems like this one's face, the cards face you when you open them, so it's more of a mystery. There it goes. We have two black code card packs so far, and I called for four. With it being, I believe, ten packs, I thought, you know, it would be great if we get four. Obviously, we get more than, than half, but I don't think that's usually how it works. So we're three to two right now on white code cards to black code cards. Let me know what you think of me opening the uh, packs with the scissors. Let me know what's your method. I'm pretty sure there's some people out there. Oh, there goes three. Three black code cards. Pretty sure there's some people out there that are like, man, you're taking the risk of damaging the card. Let me know if there's something you recommend. Would this be the fourth? Oh, I believe we're four to three now. Then we have the two Charizards. 
Let me know right here in the comments what you would have done. When you had opened the Charizards or taken care of these and then the Charizards at the end. Oh, five of three. So we're going to go ahead and uh, rip the Charizards. And hopefully that way we meet the quota of trying to get four black quota cards. wonder if anybody tracks that, the ratio of the quota cards for these packs where it seems to matter. Six to three for the white code cards. Come on, last pack. And let's hope that it's a black code card. Let's, let's get that number four. No white code card. All right. Well, last pack to be cut open, but let's, let's make it the first one to actually be opened. So here it is, first white code card. All right, there's the actual code card. I think this one follows the uh, three card rule. Is it the four card rule? Yes, it's four. All right, so there's our energy. Hunting gloves, trainer berry, grimer, uh, sinks. Let's get some focus here. All right, be dope. Electabus. Aulucha, Magma Basin, and Tornadus, a regular Tornadus, so just the uh, reverse trainer, all right, let me see, is this one or is this two, no, this is one, maybe I should have staggered them, all right, code card, oh, we have one of those protectors, I don't know if that means that this card goes to the front. Let's just leave it back there just in case. Well, is it an energy? Oh, well, I ruined it. <laughs> okay. Klinka Lang. Marnie's Pride. Cafe Master. Chimchar. All toy, that's a nice card. Snow runt, nose pass, and there it is. Nice, I was just talking about these. And I believe I have this one already, but you can never have enough of these. I, I love these. Trainer art, Vaporon. Very nice, very nice card. And the centering seems really good. The hollow seems really good, and from the back, very nice centering as well. So there it goes for the first great pull of the set on the, uh, I believe it was the second white coat card pack. So not too bad, not too bad. So far, I, I would say a good start. All right, let's go for the third white coat card pack. All right. Here's that code card. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. There's our energy. Grottle. Berry. Clang. Burmy. Styru. Carol Blast. Clefairy. Cheruvi. Weevil. <clears throat> Very nice Weevil. And a muck regular. So so far, it seems like you only get one hollow per pack. Let me separate these by hollows and not hollows. Okay, so I believe this is the fourth. The fourth white code card pack. Here's the code card. One, two, three, four. Energy card, Magma Basin, Crawdunt, Claydol, Clink, Spirit Tom, Axel, very nice card. Magmar, I'm still waiting for my first major pull of Magmar. It was kind of a love-hate relationship with Magmar growing up, but still one of my favorite Pokemons. Probo Pass, very nice card. And... A Alcrany. 
So yeah, I think for these ones, it's only one hollow per pack. All right. I believe this is the fourth or fifth white coat card. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, let's put a little bit of speed into these. See what we get. Weevil, Cherubi, Sock, Corfish, Gallet, Chimicho, a Trainer, and a Mothin. All right, I think our second to last white code card. So, so far, at least we have one great pull from a white code card. So, it doesn't necessarily mean that you won't get a pull from a white code card. <clears throat> Probo Pass, Corfish, Gallet, Carablast, Collapse Stadium, and the Oxorus. All right, last white code card. All right, let's do this one a silent one. Let's see if we get any major pulls that way. Double Turbo Energy. I was just talking in one of these videos about how I like this uh, hollows or reverse hollows energy cards and how you get this very nice artwork. You can see that even the smaller energy symbols over here have a hollow effect. So a really nice card for me. All right. So that makes it two cards out of the white coat cards. Let's see if we get some major pulls in the black code cards packs all right i believe we had three in total Let's see if i can find where it starts all right so there's the first one okay black code card one two three four fire energy all right let's go Fermi, Styru, Starly, and a trainer. Oh, there's a V card back there. A trainer reverse hollow and a Lumineon. Lumineon card. Nice. I believe that's my first time getting that card. All right, second pack, black code card. There's the code card. All right, there's our energy. Luxio, Hot Helmet, Carablast, Clefairy, Cherubi, Sock, Hitmotop, and a Honchcrow V. This is a very nice artwork. Again, it's something if it has to do with like the sun, sun's rays, the the, the color just popping on the card. It's a very nice card for me, for my liking. All right, let's get that Charizard. Last pack magic, black code card. There's the code card. One, two, three, four. All right, energy, Weevil. Moseri, Cupcho, Dedeni. Farfetch'd, that's a really nice artwork right there. Look at that. Duskull, Axorus, and a Torterra. Well, that's it. This one did have two hollows, so I guess that's what happens sometimes in the uh, black code cards. The white code cards only had one hollow in them. Um, we did get most of the Vs in the black code cards. The Hunch Crow, I would say, is the best one for the uh, black code cards. I don't think any of these have a lot of value, but this is one of my favorite cards. It's just the color scheme, the way it illustrates. So I'm really glad we pulled this one, even though I already have it. But thank you again for following on this journey. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not the last of the brilliant stars we're going to be opening. I am still chasing that Charizard V. Let me know if there's any cards in particular you're chasing on this set. And thank you again. Like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Thank you.